Hello everyone, it is Ken Chrysler here and welcome to another episode of FLH. We're live from Green Bay. Green Bay in the house tonight. And we got a big episode. We just got off from the um, Survivor Series. And a lot went down at the end there. And now we are on the road to the Rumble. And we're kicking things off with Jasper, who almost got taken out completely. Uh, I think that's what G wanted. And I'm sure his brother's not happy with him. Um, as these two are probably going to meet face to face here tonight. And Jasper is just, he seems happy. But uh, he came really close from dying. Uh, it was a very close one. His brother bailed him out. And here comes the brother. So these two have been the main villains. But they are probably going to be butting heads tonight. Or at least working some kind of thing out. Because Jasper did take the bait. It was an obvious bait. Uh, G baited him to go back to the locker room and almost getting taken out by Strider Salvo. And here comes Bobby, his brother, and the general manager of this company. I'm extremely disappointed. Disappointed in this brand, disappointed in my own team. We were made out to be fools at Survivor Series. Jamarcus Bubbles did not win the world title. Your team lost war games. And then you got baited by a dumb therapist to come back to the locker room where you almost got killed by a crazy alien that I had to take out for you. We lost my son. We lost the babysitter. So they've taken those two from us. We did manage to take down the alien, but that was because yours truly got involved. Tonight, a cook that was on our staff tried to poison me and apparently has been an insider for G ever since we got here. So we have two priorities now. One is to stop the Intercontinental and the World Heavyweight Champion. And the other one is to stop G. Now, I need to know, brother, what are your suggestions? How are we going to deal with our two problems? Oh, brother Bobby, I know you're very disappointed in me. But I was trying to take down the therapist and end this once and for all. Because he is the greatest threat to us. You understand? But I do have a solution for our Newson problem. See, when you and I were younger, when we were kids, Dad used to make us fight. He used to make us fight all the time, even over candy bars. We were forced to fight one another with two-by-fours, with ball bats, with our own fists. And whoever knocked the other one out got the candy. So, Newsom has an intercontinental title. He has a world title. You and I fight one another tonight. And the loser faces Newsom for the IC title. And the winner faces him for the world title. On the same night, we erdos it like Erdos and Strider did, except for we will be successful because I'm sick and tired of losing to Noosen Barafia. As for our G problem, give me some time. Once everyone knows what he's trying to do, everyone is going to turn against him. And I mean everyone. And we are going to have rumble spots tonight. Yep. Uh, we do it every year. And basically how the rules work is we will have two six-man fights. And as they are eliminated, it will determine where they spot. So um, basically, let's say that 
one of these guys is the first one out. Um, of course, it's Falls Count Anywhere, elimination. Uh, the, one of these guys is the first one out. It will be anywhere from spot two to five. And then the second person out, six to 10. Third person out, 11 to 15. And then 16 to 20. The, the person who wins will be anywhere from 26 to 29. So they will fall anywhere between those numbers. And they will have a sweet advantage. Um, as for the per first person gone, they're not going to have a good advantage, obviously. And that's what the point is. It's kind of risky because no matter what, you're not going to get third. Um, and then there's still going to be the three other numbers within that 26 to 29. So you can either participate in this and get a good number or perhaps, maybe, it's kind of a 50-50 shot, or you can just take the roll of the dice, which you can land up at number one or number 30. Uh, which is kind of risky. So, I think this is the better way. Even if you're like the fourth person gone here, you are going to land, uh, it should be anywhere from 16 to 20. You could make 20 easily. And, of course, that will be random also. But, uh, yeah. And, of course, the other brand's going to be doing the same thing. This is a uh, new tradition. We got Janitor Jackson in the mix, which is hilarious that the, he is now a full-time superstar. Uh, <laughs> he went from cleaning to cleaning house here. So uh, we'll see how good he can do. I mean, he's he's tough, but he's not, he, you know, he's not a main event caliber. But we'll see. Maybe he can pull it off. If he, if he pulls this off, it would be the chance of a lifetime. And of course, we also have Beige. We have uh, the disgusting Beige, uh, Cowboy, and uh, Dimitri, and Lurks, and uh, Nikon, and Mr. Black. So we got a lot of great talent here. All that could really use a shot here. I mean, Beige has had like two shots now. And wow, Dimitri is gone in less than five minutes, so that's not a big surprise. So he's gonna fall anywhere from two to five, which he needed all the help he could get. Uh, so that, that really is bad for him. Because uh, he was already in trouble. He was already disadvantaged because he's a, he's a jobber. And a double DDT. So we are down to five already. That did not take long. I think we have this on normal momentum because we do not want to, you know, take a lifetime. And of course our main event's gonna be pretty long also uh, as the brothers are gonna battle and they are determined to take Newsom's titles from him. Because the loser will face him for the IC title. The winner will face him for the world. They're setting it up where they can weaken him and take the world. That, that's what they want to do. They really don't care about the IC title as much. I mean, it, I mean I'm mean, i sure it's the dessert, but it's definitely not the meat and potatoes. Um, they want the world title. They'll probably schedule the IC title first so they can weaken him and then take the world. It didn't work before, though. You know, Frey Erdos, this is out of Frey Erdos' playbook. Um, and it didn't work before, so we'll see what happens. And Bage just lands on the janitor. And poor janitor Jackson. And Nikon, oh my goodness. Some good strikes there. And Nikon, of course, a boxer. 
Always ready to go, the Jamaican inspiration. Another one done, and wow, thank you, Janitor Jackson, because Beige is going to be anywhere from six to 10, awesome. So the janitor cleaning up the trash. Let me just say cleaning up the trash, because obviously Beige is the definition of trash. And I'm glad he's gone this early. And that's a very uh, brutal hit on him. He's really had a lot of opportunities. So I'm kind of glad in general that uh, he was the second one out of here. And Nikon is gonna send Lurts to the locker room. And so he will land anywhere from uh, 11 to 15. So you get what I mean here. And basically what this does is it determines 12 spots. And then the other 18 are going to be ran. But it determines 12 spots. Uh, and it is risky. But if you win, you're in very good shape. You have an opportunity to perhaps win the whole entire thing because you have a, a huge advantage. But you got to win the six man to, to get that advantage. And, well, of course, we're going to uh, – we're still trying to figure out what's going on with Chi. Um, man. That was just a brutal fight at the end of Survivor Series. And I think a lot of people were in shock uh, to see what happened. Um, we we don't know what, uh, we are assuming Str Strider Salvo is still alive, but he's not in good condition. Um, the brothers did retreat and uh, G managed to take in one half of the tag champions and uh, the babysitter also which nobody likes, including me. And Nikon. Oh, what a clothesline. What a brutal clothesline by Nikon. And he is going after Mr. Black now. And it, it is a battle. And, oh man, Janitor Jackson getting rocked. And Nikon getting dropped there. And, oh, wow. Just a brutal hit by Mr. Black. And, um, uh-oh. Janitor was trying to pick something up, and he got busted in the back of the head. And, wow, Nikon. And this could be done. Um, th this could be over with. That was a knockout punch but not good enough. Wow. That was a KO punch, too. Uh, he, he, he gave that his all. And we have a battle between these three. These three are already in great positions. They are already in great positions, but they want a better position.
Oh, look at Janitor just sneaking up on Nikon there. Wow, he has had a performance here tonight. And, you know, imagine if he wins the whole entire thing. And, of course, that's a chick kick, by the way. You know, Janitor Jackson's not ashamed of his moveset. You know, he has a Trish one. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. He learned from Trish. <laughs> so, wow. He may win this. He, he's got to take out one of the best, though. Um, so, that that's going to be a challenge. And he, he almost got it. And a kick out there at the last second. Of course, we're going to have a uh, reminder. We're going to have that brutal main event with the brothers. The brothers are going to be battling it out. Look here, oh my goodness, the janitor is getting slapped around. And uh, you know, Mr. Black is the king of extreme. He loves it. Uh, he is an expert at this. Um, even though this is not extreme rules, I mean, we, we've, seen, we've seen some weapons in this. And it has been pretty brutal. Or at least I thought we have. Yeah, there's a stick over there. Janitor's got a chair. And yeah. <laughs> it might not be your time yet, buddy. And he just, oh man, he got slammed hard. And a kick out again by Jackson. We got two Jacksons in this match. I just realized it. We have two Jacksons. They are not related, but we have two. And oh, what a great kick. Kick out again by Janitor Jackson. Goodness. And once again, going after that leg. And brutal shots there. And this is where Mr. Black accelerates. And look at Mr. Black here. Oh man, power bombs. Poor Janitor Jackson. And could this be it? It is, so he is gonna get the best position. But the Janitor, hey, anywhere from 21 to 25, that's not bad. That's some pretty good numbers. So, <laughs> wow, I did not expect him to come in second. But um, this is, very, uh, yeah, he definitely needed this opportunity, so. The winner is going to come anywhere from 26 to 29. So the spots have been determined for six, and now we are going to determine our other six. And, of course, our poor former GM still forced to dress in that CGI ball suit. What Are they going to ever give that up? 
And, uh, of course, we still have our main event tonight. The brothers will be in action. Someone almost got pinned already. And, uh, yeah, this is on normal momentum. So it's not going to be because otherwise it's going to uh, take 20 minutes apiece for each one. And we, 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 we want it to be reasonable. Uh, so you, you saw in the first one there was a quick elimination, but... Uh, but at the same time, the, the person clearly uh, was the worst of the six. But anyway, we got Daniel back after he got uh, fired from the other brand. And uh, we got Bobby Joe Warner, the freak, mentally, of course, being disgraced. And Gorgie and Paul Weiss. So, of course, Gorgie wants to get back in that title picture because he's a traitor and a snake. That is what he is. He is not good. And of course, we're going to have a big main event. The brothers are going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And they, they've done this before. You know, and this is kind of their disadvantage. This team, JEFF, they're incapable of love. That is their biggest downfall. Now, they don't think that because that, you know, in their mind, they think, well, we're not capable of love. So that means we have nothing to lose. Okay, that's that's kind of their um, philosophy behind that. If you don't have anything to care about, then they can't get to you, is what their philosophy is. But here's the thing. Love will create alliances. And that's what's going on here. Because G has a team together. And they care about one another. They want to succeed. And they're not all in it for themselves. And that's their that's JEFF's biggest downfall. And look at Gorgie going after Daniel. Goodness, mentally going right into the barricade back first. And look at Paul trying to get rid of Gorgie already. And... and you want to not only win this thing, you want to try to take out the, the biggest threat first. So he won't be a threat later on in the future. Uh, that's another strategy that you can use in this. Uh, for an example, like who, who's probably the best here? Probably mentally. Take him out first. Make sure that he has to climb his way to win that pay-per-view. Because that's going to be a giant pay-per-view uh, that we have coming up. And we're almost to the end. We only have a few more to go. Um, we have up till the Rumble, and then we have Mania. And three episodes in between each. So, we're planning 25 total. And of course, the last one will be a two-parter. And we're already on... Uh, this would make 17. At Green Bay, Green Bay, Wisconsin. You know, they're going to get to see the brothers fight. So um, lucky for them. You know, it, it's good that nothing's bad happened. The brothers are more focused on each other tonight and seeing who's going to take on Newsom for the big title.
Gorgie getting thrown around by Bobby Joe. And Bobby's got the chair. And this has just been very crazy. with the kick to mentally. Oh my goodness, he is the first one out. Wow. And that is a shocker. And uh, of course, he, he he's probably not in the best mindset, especially wearing that outfit. Oh man, that really stinks. But that that's a good strategy. That is a good strategy. I had no idea he was going to be the first one. I didn't know if he could win this thing, but I, I had no idea he'd be the first one. And we may get a second person here, and we are, as the freak gets this one. And who is it? Oh, it's Daniel, which is, you know, expected. So anywhere from six to 10 for Daniel. Bobby is the third one out. So he will go anywhere from 11 to 15. 11 to 15 will be his number. And these three are definitely, um, you know, world title contenders. You know, I, Gorgie's been there a couple times, so I have to put him in that category as much as I hate it and as much as... Uh, backstabber he is not even wearing his team's logos and uh, totally abandoned us during the battle so did Lurks by the way and uh, they had nothing to do with that battle and then they lost their tag titles and we'll see if this is the end of Paul and Paul kicks out you know Paul could win this thing because he is the luckiest man on earth he has won a Rumble before. Um, so, I mean, I mean, he pulled off one of the biggest upsets of all time. Uh, a couple times he's done so. Uh, but we'll see if he can win this tonight. He's, he has some great competition. And, oh my goodness, Gorgie just got destroyed. This could be the end for him. And it is. So he will be anywhere from 16 to 20. Look at the freak, oh my goodness. Using those, you know, dusting, basically giving Paul Weiss the worst of the floor. So disrespectful, but I love it. And of course, Freak and I have had our issues in the past, but I'll let bygones be bygones. Because he is right now torturing the person that nobody likes and stepping on his poor hand, oh poor baby. Cry yourself to sleep tonight. Like I care, Paul. Like I care. Of course, we still have that crazy main event. We're going to have a main event promo. A lot going on with G. And we'll discuss that in the main event. And a kick out there by Paul.
Oh, and look at the freak. Has poor Paul in a lock. And Paul using his elbows, using his feet to get out of that hold. It is down to these two. They both have great positions in this, no matter who wins. I mean, I mean, technically, one could be 25, one could be 26. So, I mean, anything's possible. And the freak with the pedigree. Oh, man. And Paul might be checked out. He might be checked out here. And he is. So, wow, Mr. Black and the freak are both going to be anywhere from 26 to 29. Yeah. It's time to put your panic, uh, hit the panic button. And that's great for Freak Nation. That's great for them. Wow. What is the odds of those two winning? And 20, anywhere from 26 to 30, both of them. And who knows if they're going to work together. But anyway, now it is time for our main event. Jasper Bacharach versus Bobby Bacharach. And uh, this is going to be a great one. Um, as these two will face off. And it is going to be brutal. Because they may be brothers. But they absolutely love to hurt one another. Because they're sick. And we need to talk about G. Can we trust G? There's a lot of people, whether it be this brand or JFF or the subs, that no longer trust G. They think he has some ill intentions. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, to put a million dollars on his head means that he's definitely ruffled these two guys' feathers. Uh, that's for sure. But... A lot of people are saying he could have had one of the brands shut down. That, that was a great guess. Um, if that comes out, that he was involved in that, and his brother was involved, oh my goodness, talk about the outrage. That he's plot, uh, and he even quoted, by the end of this, I may be the enemy, but I'm doing this for the greater good. That is not a good sign. So what is his plan? And, you know, Frey could care less. Frey just wants to go home. And as for Jacob, he's got the brain of a zombie. I, I don't know what his deal is. So they could care less, but the, I've talked to people in the locker room, and they're kind of concerned with what he's hiding. And so is JEFF, so is the other brand's roster. Everybody is concerned now that he is going to try to do something. And we don't know what he's gonna do. But anyway, we got Bobby and Jasper here. Duking it out. Just a brutal fight already. And, it, and they definitely, they both want a shot at the world title. And you know, they could have did a triple threat, but that would take away from um, they want to do it all by themselves. They, there is some kind of, you know, there is a little bit of respect for Newsom. It's a little bit, but um, it is respect. I mean, they could technically do a Fatal 4 and have everyone go against Newsom and make sure that he loses the fight. But they want to do it all by themselves. And, you know, I, I'm glad they at least want to go that direction. Um, and I'm glad they're not focused on me either. Uh, I'm getting a break finally. And I need a break. I, I need a vacation. You know, my son, when he saw my bald head, he, he was just crying. He couldn't stop crying. He was just so terrified. He's like, Dad, where's your hair, Dad? Where's your hair? 
and I didn't know what to tell him. Look at Bobby. He doesn't care about his brother. He wants he wants that shot. And he wants to prove that he is a better fighter. Um, you, uh, we, with the other two brothers, the other two Bacharachs, there, there's one that has a, uh, a physical element and one with a mental element. And there was some clues today that there could be more of these guys. And it's like their whole genetic um, bloodline is so screwed up. Like they're all just screwed up in the head. Um, that seems to be the case here. Because they just, you know, they're all blonde, for, for, first of all. They all have blonde hair. And uh, they're all screwed up. So, <laughs> seems to be a genetic thing. Because they, they, they kind of hinted some stuff tonight. We kind of learned about them a little bit more. And this problem may have been going on for, you know, who knows how long. Definitely it's a generational thing uh, from the way that they described it here tonight. And they're both considered Jeff's uncles. So I, there's so many questions I have still. And oh my goodness, we just... Man, that was freaky. As soon as I said, as there's so many questions I had. Oh man, that could have been a warning sign not to ask those questions. But one that I was concerned with: who's who's Jeff's parents? Why have we not heard anything? That that has always been a speculation. Like, who is his mom and dad, and where did where do they play a role in this? And are they as messed up as him? Or you know, these two never bring them up. So, and from the sounds of it, you know, I mean, come to think about it, I guess his mother could have the last name, but maybe they have another brother? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe his mother never got married. I don't know. That is That has always been a mystery, and nobody's been able to crack the code of who their identities are. We know the mother's dead, but we don't know anything about her. Um, and we don't know anything about a father. So. But oh my goodness, these two continue to beat on one another. It's crazy. And they don't care. They're absolute psychopaths. It's all, for them, it's all about being a man. Who is the bigger man here? It's all their masculinity. And that's all they care about. And oh my goodness, here we go. Of course, Jasper's using a slap, so, yeah. And these two going back and forth here, they really want a shot at the world title. One's gonna get a shot at the IC. They're going back and forth. This is crazy. And uh oh, wide open. My goodness. <laughs> wow. Just wow. And look at Jasper slamming Bobby there. I believe is bleeding pretty bad. Oh my goodness, look at the mat. Look at the mat. He is, oh my goodness. And they're not gonna stop this thing. You know they're not, they love it, they enjoy pain. They're sadist. And Bobby's definitely exhausted because his brother has beat the blood out of him. 
I mean, it's understandable. But uh, he's he's trying to make it to that pin, but I mean, I'm surprised he can see. And another kick out, and he would have had that three if he wasn't exhausted. That really killed him there. And Jasper with the RKO. And not enough there either, goodness. And these two, this has become a brother fight for sure. Now brothers fight. Uh, they don't fight like this. I mean, this is just above and beyond. Look at, I mean, look at the blood. And Janitor Jackson's gonna have to clean that up. You know he is. Oh my goodness, it's just literally taken over. It's like, look at that big spot there. Oh man, it's good that I, I, I can take blood. If I was one of those people that passed out, I'd already be on the floor. That is crazy. Oh my goodness, and they keep on doing headshots to one another to make things even worse. Especially Jasper, who uses the knee and the punch and the the RKO, and my goodness, just been a brutal fight here. And uh oh, Bobby trying to come back into this. They they both have tried to get a point, and neither one could. And a kick out there by Jasper. Oh my goodness, just look at it. So much blood on this mat. It's disgusting. I'm surprised no one slip and fell. There's so much, I mean, Oh my goodness, and this continues on. Because what, I mean, what's the ref going to do? Stop it? They'll kill him. They've told you that they have a sniper in the audience. I mean, <laughs> nobody can do anything. Nobody knows who it is either. Because the crowd always looks the same. So, <laughs> there's no way to really determine it. Week after week, they all look the same. Now, they, they may change their shirts out, and that's about it, but, uh, and now Jasper's bleeding. Oh, my goodness. And this is spiraled out of control. Great takedown there by Jasper. Seeing if he can get a point, and still no point. Oh my goodness. And that knee to the head. And Bobby just gets right back up from it. And now, he, now he's making sure Jasper bleeds. My goodness. Look at, I mean, look at this. This is disgusting. How much blood. It's almost like Dimitri and Bobby's match. That, that, that may have been worse. But I haven't seen anything like it since. And these are two brothers. And uh-oh, Bobby. He's got the pedigree. Oh my goodness, and this time he gets right back up so he can go straight to the pin and see if he can get a point here. Neither brother, I don't know how they, ha oh my goodness. How in the world has nobody gotten a point yet? Is this even two out of three? Is it just one fall? Maybe I'm mistaken here. 
And uh-oh, look at Jasper here. Wow. Unbelievable. And, oh my goodness. And things can't get any worse. And look at Jasper going to try to finish it here. And that's the first point. So it is two out of three falls. So Jasper finally gets a point with that chair shot. Oh, and look at Bobby. We saw that move, uh, that taunt earlier tonight. One of the most disrespectful ones. And he's doing it too. And Jasper. Oh my goodness, stepping on Bobby's neck. Oh my, and that does it. So the finishers don't, but you know, the, the casual moves do. Makes absolutely no sense. Nothing about these brothers makes any sense. And Jasper apparently is the physical strength and Bobby is the mental strength because Jasper won tonight and he's gonna challenge Newsom at the Rumble. Ugh. If, only, if things could only get worse, they just did. Erdos, Jacob and you need to prepare for battle. There's going to be retaliation for what we did at Survivor Series. Strider Salvo is still alive, but he suffered third-degree burns from that light. However, he should be back soon, but until then, w the three of us are going to have to stick together. I promise you, Erdos, and I know you've been patient with me. Once JEFF crumbles, I will send you back in time so you can save your family and live happily ever after. However, once JEFF crumbles, I'm going to have to confront the real monster. And the real monster hasn't arrived yet. But if the emails are true, they will be coming soon. And we can't trust anyone. We definitely cannot trust the subs. Because they have a role in this. And as for the roster, mentally's too delusional. He's too blind to see the truth. But I've always seen the truth. And with the emails that I confirmed with my brother's help, I know who the true monster is. And the true monster will return. But for now, the three of us have to worry about JEFF. And we have to take them out of the picture before I can finish the real task. And G just keeps on unraveling more information. But we still don't know what his end game is. And I'm kind of concerned now. Um, I, I don't know what his deal is. But they're about to have some trouble. Because, oh, and I should have knew this was coming. It looks like the prisoners are here. And you know why? Because G has one half of the tag team champions. Uh, he has captured my son. And my son's partner is here, Green Skull. And we could have a showdown next week. And this is not going to be good. It's not going to end good for either team. When these two teams collide. And Prison Break is here. Uh, this is not going to be good. Idiot therapist. I want my tag team partner. I also want one million dollars. And you are the key to what I want. So you can either surrender or we can make you wish you were dead.
<laughs> wow. Apparently they don't teach promos in prison. But when I get done with you, you're going to have a lot of time to rehearse your promos from prison. <laughs>